How's your day been today, ladies? Bad, day. thank you. Wonderful. Three winners out of three. So, three That's a bet three. so far, yeah. Well, I'm still in the easy six. So oh, I'm still winning. you so could I'm win doing the car. Well. would you give a presenter, someone who's starting out brand new, like myself, I've, mm. this is my first time presenting at Chester, um, for Chester Racecourse, what advice would you give? Well I think, you know, for me, you can never do enough homework, you know, anything that you're going to be working on, know your subject quite well, that's always a good start, and just be yourself, I think it is important, don't try and be somebody that you're not. You know, for me, there's no point in me trying to talk in a posh accent because it doesn't suit me. You know, my accent is, it's homegrown. And I think that's, you know, just try and be as natural as you can. I'm here with Mike Catamol, uh, course commentator. Mike, what does it take for you to prepare for these kind of days when, when you are in front of a huge crowd and, and you're the voice of the race course? Well Rob, do you know the first thing you've got to do is not mess it up because that would be a disaster, wasn't it? The thing about commentating is you only get one crack at it, you know, it's like a tightrope really, but um, you just make sure your, your preparation's gone well and that gives you half a chance of getting it right and um, just maintain your concentration I guess. Day. The punters have all come out. How's Chester Beck gone this week? Oh, it's been fantastic. The first day, a bit cloudy, a bit miserable, but yesterday, Ladies' Day, it was beautiful, and again today, so it's been really great. And the punters have all come out and bet with Chester Beck in yeah. the hopes to try and win this car. Well, yeah. we've had a lot of successful betters oh, so there's far. Some few, a few <laughs> yeah. bets left in I it. I think we had one guy yesterday who was like eagerly anticipating his win, and on the accumulator, he'd got six out of seven races and on the seventh race he just missed out on 11 uh. grand. And as the final horses come across, the final furlong and the final winning post, we'll see you again soon. Goodbye.